Dallas, you guys have done a big research study um, about upcoming holiday buying. First of all, why did you guys do it? What are some top line takeaways and what do you hope the market learns? Every year OpenX partners with Harris Poll, one of the largest consumer research polling groups in the world, to do a deep insight into the state of holiday shopping. And we do this because at OpenX we're one of the largest advertising exchanges in the world. We work with tens of thousands of brands to reach you know, hundreds of millions of consumers against the most trafficked websites and mobile apps and connected TVs uh, platforms in the world. And we want to have a better understanding for how consumers are engaging with content and the impact of that content on shaping uh, shopping behaviors. And this year's report had some firsts for the first time, a really exciting first. Um, but first, the top line is consumers overwhelmingly are optimistic about the economy in the future. And that's going to drive an increase in spending this holiday season. We're anticipating about a 5% increase in spending uh, across the board. Uh, but some of the first that we're seeing this year that are very exciting for those of us that work in the online space is that for the first time, digital is going to capture the majority of all holiday dollars spent. 52% of all dollars will be spent via online mobile platforms this year. And that cuts across every demographic. Even baby boomers plan to spend half of all their dollars on, on, uh, on digital devices. And mobile is clearly the accelerant here, which is another exciting uh, kind of a dominant role, emerging role for mobile. One out of all five dollars, one of every five dollars spent this holiday season will be spent via a mobile device. So all in all, we're looking to see a pretty strong growth this year, about 5% for holiday shopping. Consumers are optimistic, and that's overwhelmingly going to be driven by digital. So what do you think the uh, takeaways uh, or strategies or advice or, I mean, I'm not, you're not, uh, you know, what's instructive, do you think, for the marketers? Yeah, I think there are two real key takeaways for marketers. The first deals with the enormity of the fragmented media landscape we're seeing today and the changes that needs to bring about in marketing mix. So two key examples. Uh, the first is in traditional television. 42% of holiday shoppers this year uh, either have cut the cord already or plan to this year. 30% watch absolutely zero live television. You have to let that number sink in for a second because 95% of all television dollars, ad dollars, are currently spent on linear television, where 30% of consumers now say they spend zero time. Uh, you know, put that against the side of millennials, for example, one, uh, one group that's going to be highly uh, out in force this holiday season. They spend 75% more time streaming than they do watching linear television. So a key takeaway for marketers this year is make sure your media mix is actually targeted to where your audience is, not where they used to be in the past. I think the second key takeaway we have is really on the need to go deeper uh, and actually understand the user behind the screen who you're trying to engage with. Really embrace those people-based marketing solutions to deliver a relevant ad. And I'll give you an example. Now, as we look at different demographics, we see very wide, widely differing uh, ways in which they're gonna shop this year. Uh, dads, for example, um, dads are going to be what we're calling very selfish, uh, playing with the elfish term there. Uh, they're going to overwhelmingly spend on themselves. We're expecting a 60% increase in how much dads are going to spend on themselves. 350% more than moms, for example. However, dads are the least likely to shop on mobile. Uh, they're much more comfortable on their desktop. Dads are the least likely to be on social media. 18% don't even use it. Uh, so understanding those demographics and the changes of, uh, so you can actually target the user behind the screen, when, where, and how they shop will really be key to a successful holiday outcome for retailers.